Hello everyone, I'm Bernadette Jordan, the Minister of Fisheries, Oceans and the Canadian Coast Guard. I'm pleased to join you today from my home in Nova Scotia, or Mi'kma'ki, the traditional territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Thank you for inviting me to take part in this event along with many esteemed colleagues who are equally committed to the protection of mako sharks. In oceans around the world, these highly evolved apex predators are in serious peril. Unsustainable bycatch levels and harvests for illegal trade place extreme pressure on the populations. Maritime nations can and must adopt strong protection measures, and we need to commit to enforcing such measures to ensure the survival of the species. Canada continues to lead the way on this effort. Last year, we were the first country to act on the scientific advice of the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, or ICAT, which called for an immediate ban on the retention of North Atlantic shortfin mako sharks. In 2019, Canada co-sponsored a proposal at ICAT, along with Senegal, that follows the aforementioned science. This proposal was supported by 11 other countries, but due to lack of consensus among ICAT members, it was not adopted. In 2020, Canada tabled a similar proposal, with the UK and Taiwan added to the co-proponents along with a number of other countries, including Senegal, that voiced their support. Unfortunately, this proposal was also not adopted. More needs to be done to stop the decimation of this iconic species, and we need to be willing to take the steps to make it happen. Simply put, the health of mako sharks has a direct correlation to the health of marine ecosystems, and by extension, the health of the people of the world. At the upcoming ICAT intersessional meeting in July, Canada will continue to advocate for the protection of mako sharks. We will be asking nations to honour the environmental commitments they made at the Convention for International Trade in Endangered Species, which includes following the best available science and banning the retention of these sharks. With the longest coastline in the world, Canada has a profound relationship with the ocean and the delicate web of marine life within it. Thank you to everyone in the Shark League for hosting the Mako Shark Rally and for your continued advocacy towards the survival of the Mako Shark. If we truly want to leave our children and our grandchildren a future that includes healthy, sustainable oceans that are rich in biodiversity, then we must act together and with the utmost haste. Thank you.